Boosted Evo. This is another Evo like I promised. This one's an Evo 8, which is what I daily drive. Fortunately, it doesn't look like this. Actually, I should say thankfully, because it's a little bit over the top, but still nonetheless, an awesome 118th version from Fast and Furious 3, Tokyo Drift. This is what Sean drove towards the end of the movie when Han gave him a new ride. Pretty nice packaging from Jada, Fast and Furious line. Take a look at the box real quick. Love the paint. Good shot of the rear end. Nice size wing. Sean's Evo 8. Another review of the 118 scale collection that I have. This one's of Sean's Evo out of the package. A really good job with the paint. I did an awesome job with the splitter. The canards on there. See them from the front. Intercooler has a NOS coolant spray on it. Kind of looks like it's part of the intercooler, unfortunately. So it doesn't look like they did a separate piece. Maybe they could have possibly painted it a different color or added a little bit of a touch of paint to kind of differentiate it from the rest of the intercooler. But nice piece nonetheless. Headlights, really good. Once again, a little bit of touch up. They could have put maybe a, an amber blinker in there somewhere or an amber bulb or an amber paint of some sort. Maybe even painted the housing black, but some options for later on. Hood, nice paint, gloss black, vents. Kind of was looking for more of a, a real vent look, but for something that's mass produced, obviously that would cost a ton of money to do multiples of each one. Interior is pretty nice. I'll swing it around here. Really nice job on the harnesses. The doors do open, at least the front doors do. Rear doors do not. Trunk opens, hood opens. Just really don't want to take off any of the straps until I move into the house and actually set up my display. As far as the interior is concerned, good job with that. With the exception of the steering wheel. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm trying to get an LED in there. But definitely not uh, your typical Momo steering wheel you'd find on an Evo. Kind of just like a generic racing wheel. The rest of the interior is pretty accurate. Center console, cluster, all that. It's got a nice set of wheels on it. Deep dish front and rear. Kind of like a graphite gray of some sort. Deep lip in the back. Even though an Evo technically wouldn't have staggered fitment, but it's Jada Toys. Still a nice model. Mine around the lip have a little bit of a uh, scuffing already. You know, it's the first time I have its package, but later on down the road, might eventually just paint them bronze or black. But really good representation for Fast and Furious 3, Tokyo Drift. Got some subs in the back. Trunk does open, but like I said before, I'm not going to take the strap off. Nice wide body. Get my finger out of the way. Exhaust. 
exhaust, not a big fan, but can always alter it later on down the road. The wing, gloss black as well. Could use a little bit of carbon in it, but like I said, something mass produced. Overall, nice representation of the Evo again. Like I said I got a couple of these. Jada made a, a large series of uh, imports, the import tuners. I kind of do a review on the rest of them later on down the road, but this is just for the newer stuff that I have in the closet. I just want to get a review out there for it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Boosted Evo. Click the like button, click subscribe, add your comments. Regardless of how sarcastic they may be or repugnant, doesn't matter. Just get them out there. Appreciate it guys. Till next time.